30 Minutes of Umoria, show three. Hi there, welcome back. To the journey to the bottom of Moria, the roguelike journey to the bottom of Moria. Let's get started. This, the third show of 30 Minutes of Umoria, is brought to you by the lowercase letter P. The lowercase letter P represents 29 different creatures in Umoria one of which is the blubbering idiot. The blubbering idiot lives in the town and moves a bit erratically at normal speed. It has an armor rating of one and a life rating of one die two. It can open doors and pick up objects. It is warm-blooded and susceptible to frost and fire. It is ever vigilant for intruders which you may notice from 60 feet away. It can drool. The Blubbering Idiot Before we get started, let's check out The Wheel Source Code! The let's see what another source code function looks like, shall we? Here we go, let's spin the wheel. Ooh, what's gonna be this time? I see something about poison flying by there. I see something about a light area. I see prey. What's gonna be? Let's see. Unlight area. Hmm. Function. Lives in spells.c at line 284 and is 51 lines long. Unlight area. Let's have a little look-see. Wow, I forgot it already. Unlight area. There you go. Okay. Darken an area. Opposite of light area. R-A-K. And that is... Uh, the author of Moria, Robert Allen Kiniki. That's what he puts there to say that he did this function. All right, so unlight area returns an integer and it takes in a place on the map, an XY coordinate. And when we're done, there's our return unlight. So it's returning whether, whether it worked or not, I guess. Okay. Uh, so this is the, uh, the the scroll of darkness that's what this is this is the actual implementation of darkening a room not bad eh so first of all let's see where it's called from oopsie and there it is it's called in a staff because you have a staff that does that and it's called in a scroll because there's a scroll that does that how about that hmm. All right, let's go back into the spell and have a look at the function. All right, this is kind of complicated, but I'll try to go over it. This cave variable here, that is that is the main map. I can tell you that much. Done level means dungeon level, so if we're in the town level, don't do it. <laughs> you can't darken the whole town. <laughs> Anyway, as you can see, it's doing a loop over uh, a part of the screen to turn uh, some of the the floor dark. Very interesting. So every tile has a uh, a C pointer attached to it here. That is a cave type, so a particular floor tile, and then we just give it a value of dark. I'm not sure what light spot's doing there. Because we're not lightening it, we're darkening it. Hmm. And if we're not in a room or something, then we just do the uh, the cube, the square of nine, the three, three, three around us. That's what this part is here. And if we're blind, or if we're not blind, we're gonna say darkness surrounds you. Very neat, interesting function. Bit of a spoiler, I guess, but not really. 
Okay, that's it for the Wheel of Source Code. Ah, here we are. We're back. More at 5.6, 1985. Well, the first version was in 1985. Here's our character, Yisha. We are at level 3, on our way to level 4. Yeah. We're pretty weak right now. We're on the town level, as you can see. Trickster 1. Ah, that just about sums it up. In our backpack, we have... Uh, we get I to see in our backpack. Not a lot. We uh, have a lantern. That's nice. Maybe we can use some more flasks of oil. And our person, we're doing all right. 11 AC, not bad. So let's go get some more oil. Using the number pad to navigate as usual. Oil, P, E, purchase E. There we go, four flasks, more than enough. Um, what's our uh, food at? Seven, play. Okay, we're good. Um. We have a scroll of phase door, that's our running away spell. And we are good to go. We'll just look in here to see if there's anything special. Nothing special. And we can go down to the dungeon. So, uh, yeah, you might be wondering what we're doing here. We're trying to kill the Balrog. Uh, the Balrog is many, many deaths down. And we are at 50 feet, at the first level of uh, dungeon. Yeah, we have a long way to go. So, without further ado, let's go kill some bad guys. Who knows how many episodes this is going to take. At this speed, it could be a lot. Hundreds, hundreds. <laughs> but I will make it to the bottom. Our character Yisha here will at least see the Balrog, if not defeat the Balrog. Look at the giant centipede skeleton. We've killed a few giant centipedes so far. Nasty creatures. Hit capital M to see where we are in the scheme of things. A free potion. I never know how to say that. Is that cyan or cayenne? Like cayenne pepper? I don't know. Well, that's money anyway. We can take that back to the town and sell it. To do that, we need to find an upstairs. And we have a white worm mass, pretty harmless. And there is a centipede, a giant white centipede. Got him. What's that over there? It's an indigo potion. I know how to say that one. <laughs> indigo. Anybody remember the Timex Indiglo? Yeah, that's a wristwatch. Those uh, watches are about the same, uh, from the same time period as this keyboard. It's so old it has the connect button. <laughs> connect to the internet. Remember when you had to connect to the internet? Me either. So we're searching for bad things to kill. There's a mouse. Uh, they're breeding. This is bad. It's bad because we don't have a way out. I think we've killed them all. Yeah. We rested up there. R star. Capital R star to rest. And here's some more stuff. Oops. See, that's bad. The floating eye just sucked mana from us. Our first spell didn't go off, and then he sucked another point away from us. Uh, which makes him stronger. Which means it takes more mana to kill him. 
We're out of mana. Now what we can do, we're run away. Ah. Oh, it's killing us. Alright. Worm mass. A white worm mass. Another one. Got him. Alright, where are we? We're in the bottom left. So let's proceed eastward. Nothing there. Alright, two potions. Clear potion and another cyan or cayenne potion. Now here's a spoiler. A clear potion is actually a uh, bottle of water. So that's a spoiler. Um, you can drink this one successfully. Uh, or you can actually probably give it back to the uh, store, the temple, or the magic user store, or the alchemist store, to uh, for about 15 gold pieces. So let's not drink it. We have two of those potions. All right. We are 25 experience points away from the next level. Which isn't too bad. It'd be nice if we can find a down arrow, a down stair. Azure potion. And there is back to the uh, town. That's good. We now have a way out of the level. Make a note of where that is. Southwest quadrant. All right. Hopefully this goes north. And it does. You want to stay out of the middle. Even if we're uh, strong on a level, you want to stay out of the middle section. And leave it to the last. Notice I'm not running, I am still just walking around here. A green fruit fly. Sorry, a green, a giant green fly. We haven't seen one of these yet. Okay, what just happened there is uh, that uh, giant green fly was out of depth, uh, which means that uh, he belongs in a lower level of the dungeon, and he just happened to show up on the 50th, uh, on the first level, 50 foot level of the dungeon. So uh, we got an insane amount of experience points for that. Put us right up over the level, over the next level. 200, we got 26 uh, points now as a fourth, as a fourth level character. And it's normally found at 350 feet, how about that? Wow, 26. Um, flies usually breed. Uh, we would have done very well to actually farm that fly. Uh, we do have a way out. We could have gone back up to the town, and we would have had 26 uh, experience points until we graduate on to 5th uh, level. So, 5th uh, level is... Uh, 105 experience points. We're at 78. Not bad. We have, uh, let's see what we have for mana. We have 7 mana points now and 21 hit points. We're just getting stronger and stronger. This is great. Stronger and stronger. We have a large brown snake. Easy, normal. First level kill stuff. Okay. What we have here is an invisible man hitting us. We don't know where he is. He's probably not right behind us. He could be, but he's probably not from where we came. Uh, so what we do is we lead him into a hallway so that we know he's in front of us. So we're in the hallway, and we're just going to hit five to rest on the spot, and we'll draw him in. Okay, 
Okay. He's probably right in front of us to the west. Yeah, that's where he is. And we got him. Uh, in lower levels, we're really going to need an item that gives us the invisible. We don't have one yet. Uh, there will come a time when it is crucial to own an item that does that. Uh, we're not there yet, thank goodness. These guys aren't so hard to kill. Uh, we are Trickster 2, level 4, cruising at 50 feet. I saw an icky thing, there it is. Hey, he gave us some money. We need way more money, way more money. And hey, there's the downstairs. Um, uh-oh. Well, okay, we've come into a room and these giant white mice are breeding explosively. Um, that's Moria's word for it, breeding explosively. Um, I would like to get that scroll because that's money. We can sell that. So, I think we can probably uh, make our way over there and back without dying. Oof, maybe not. Well, I could uh, learn the stinking cloud. Might as well do that. I can learn a new spell here. We're getting bitten. This is not gonna end well. Better. Wow, we have to retreat. Wow, we're just getting whipped here. We have no mana points left and we have seven hit points. Nothing really that we know of in our pack that is useful. Um, let's do some farming here, I guess. Wow, we're at two hit points. We cleared him. Our trusty dagger pulled us through. And what is that? A scroll titled A Co Snick. Sounds like Harry Potter. Okay. We've done maybe a third of the map, maybe about that. Let's continue on. This level is being pretty good to us. Might as well stay here a little bit longer. Who knows what we'll find? Who knows? Maybe some more scrolls? Some more potions? Kill some easy uh, white icky things? What are they worth anyway? Half a point. We gotta go deeper. However, this is a, basically a bit of a, a treasure romp uh, for a, a fourth level character. Alright, uh, what we have here is a poison trap. Um, we cannot learn the cure poison spell. Wow, and we are losing hit points. This could be the end, right here. What do we do? Wow. Ah. Do we start drinking potions, hoping one of them will fix us? Wow. Um, we're poisoned. That trap did it to our right. Um, and uh, every move we take, we lose a hit point. This could be the end of Yisha. Uh, a cowardly trap on the floor. Poisons us. Wow. We don't have, uh, we have a bunch of potions, but who knows if they're useful. What can I do? Um, how far away is that up stair? Well, it's far away and we have six steps. What do we do? 
We have a cure. We have cure light wounds. Uh, let's learn the cure light wounds. I never ever learned that spell. It'll be a waste, but it, you might need it. So I'm gonna learn that cure light wounds. D. We've learned it, and we've lost another hit point. Now we're gonna cast it. M A E. That's a new one for me. My hands are sweating here. This is tense. We feel better, but we're still poisoned. Let's uh, let's march off to uh, the stairway up. We don't have a chance of getting there, but we've got to do what we can do. Three hit points. Let's cast it again. Cure Light Wounds. Let's hope it works. It's our last cast of it, actually. Alright, you feel better, you feel better. Hey, and uh, the poison's gone. We did it. Whew. That was very, very, very close. Very close. That is a tough trap. Let's rest up. Yeah, so that is the reason why we don't use, we don't learn all the spells. We keep the study there, so we can always have a spell ready. Uh, who knows which one we'll need, and that time we really needed the Cure Light Wind spell. Wow. So now we're going to go over this trap, and we are going to disarm it. Disarm is capital D on the right side, where the capital letter commands are. And uh, yeah, you disarm a trap or chest, capital D. So, capital D, direction. We failed to disarm it. Okay. That's, uh, in gambling speed, that's a push. <laughs> you can succeed in it, you can uh, fail it, fail to disarm it, or you can set it off again. And if we set this off again, we're going to be poisoned again. So, hey, we disarmed it, and we got experience points for that. Nice. We are level 5. How about that? Um, Trickster level three, nice. And we can learn new. There is the cure poison spell. There it is. How about that? And we can also learn a lightning bolt, which can be a bit of a go-to spell. Very nice. Very nice. Um, okay, we need forty-two experience points to get to the next level. Yeah. We're doing very well. Very, very well. Um, let's rest up. We have a maximum of 8 mana points now and 29 hit points. Uh, we started out with the measly 9. I think it was 9. Free money, 37 gold pieces. Oh, this first depth is so nice. Even though we almost died twice. Once at the, the poisoning, and once at the mice room. Reading explosively. Alright. Which way do we go? I don't want to go to the center, but that's where it's going. Go this way. Hallway after hallway. Where are the rooms? Where are the rooms? More money. 31 gold pieces. That is a free scroll. We already have one of those. Two of co snicks. Stairway going down. Alright. So we've gained a level, or two actually. These guys are no match, but uh, they don't give us much now. What do they give a level 5 guy? A white icky thing. Not even a half a point. But we're picking up free stuff and we're getting money, so it's worth it to be on this level. Letting time pass so we can go back up to uh, town and buy more stuff. Control P uh, says what um, message we missed. And if we hit Control P twice, we see a whole list of it. Of the bottom being the most uh, current 
of all of the messages. 19 gold pieces, or copper. Gold pieces worth of copper. All right, is there a, no door there? All right, continuing on. It's going, we're going into the center now. Where the baddest of the bad guys live. Uh, let's check out south first. No rooms, no rooms, just hallways. 36 gold pieces. Doesn't hurt. Hi there, welcome hurt. back. I need that. 339 gold pieces. And there's nothing here, so. Okay. Wow. Okay, we're almost out of mana. Wow. Close that door and rest up. Use our uh, sticking cloud spell, MAG. Now we're going to use our magic missile to see if anything is there. Nothing's there, we got them all. Moving on. Ha -da 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 -da. It's kind of it's kind of unfortunate that uh, we can die at this this uh, high this depth easy depth um, when the creatures don't get as much for experience but we can still die all the same. It, it seemed like a bad trade off. So we're getting the near death experiences but we're not getting the reward. As much of a reward, anyway. A blue worm mass. What's that all about? Usually we have white ones. Oof. Something just broke inside our pack. I don't like being near this guy. We got him. What broke inside our pack here? Might have been a... Yeah, it was that clear potion. Our, our water, our, our water went away on us. It froze. Huh. What was that worth? What was that uh, worm worth? Four points. Hmm. Blue worm mass. Uh, and it should say somewhere there that, yeah, it can crawl on you to freeze. That's bad. So, we're in the middle of the, the room here, and that's where the bad guys are. Middle of the level. Searching for another room before we leave. Hey, look at that. That is a bodkin, a dagger. That is useful to us. It could be magical, who knows? So, here we have a case of uh, these mice breeding again. And uh, we come into the room and they're on a diagonal away from us. So, a, a, an experienced Mario player will know uh, what the what the angles are. Uh, will be able to easily see if uh, if a particular monster is on a diagonal, so we can attack it with the spell. Uh, in this case, we're not. I don't think. Oh, maybe we are. One, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah. So that's, uh, but what I wanted to say was you can cast beyond it with the, with the sticking cloud, for example. Hit the wall behind it. And it'll still hit the monster. For less, but it'll still hit the monster. Wow, we didn't get them all after all. Where are those guys hiding? Down here? Here? Huh. And I think one more room. 
One more room. Maybe this is a place for a door. Oh. There must be one more room here. I don't see the way into it. Huh. Maybe this way. Nope. I wish we had a uh, shovel. That's money in the wall right there. Easy, easy money. Hey, there's a room. Nothing in it. Alright. Um, what do you think? Go down a level? Or go back up to the town? The... We're not out of depth here. We can go certainly go down farther. Um... But the limiting factor early on is the fullness of our backpack. We're maybe half full right now. So let's just be safe and go up to the town and sell our stuff. And maybe we can even find a shovel. So we use the capital M to see the map. And we're looking for the stairs going up. So they are uh, to our south and to our west. Do -do 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 -do. Nothing that way, and I see them there. Um, when you're walking around a dungeon like that and it's mostly cleared, all of a sudden monsters will start showing up in rooms you've already cleared. That's because they, they just happen to spawn randomly. So after you clear a level, it's good to get off the level. Okay. We've come up uh, to town in, in night. Uh, the sun's gone down, so we have to be a little bit more careful walking around. Uh, we don't want to walk into a battle-scarred veteran. We're a little bit stronger now, uh, but still, it's, we don't get anything for it, for our trouble. Um, where was the uh, stairs? Was it over by the armory? Now we have to wonder. Anyway, uh, we're near this store here. It is a temple, so we go in. Let's see if they'll buy anything from us. Two potions. Cayenne or cyan. I think from experience you might be able to get 15 gold pieces, so I'm going to say 21. 20. 19. 18, 17, 16, and 15. Potion of Heroism. Not bad. Uh, I'd rather have the money than the potion, so we'll sell the next one as well. 22. And I go. Nice. I think you can sell the potions that are known for more than the potions that are unknown. Next potion. Azure potion. Azure. 20. And you'll buy it whether it's good or bad. Potion of Boldness. Boldness is where uh, uh, your character happens to be afraid because that's an effect a monster can have on you. And you can't hit it with, with our dagger, for example. You take this potion, potion of boldness, and the afraidness, the fear, goes away. Moving on, an indigo potion. What might that be? I'm going to guess this is a bad one. This might be like a potion of blindness or something. Who knows what it is, if it's good or bad. I would rather get the gold pieces for it than drink it and find out. Hey, that's right. Potion of Blindness. How about that? <laughs> wow, that's a tough one, Potion of Blindness. We can't cast any spells when we're blind. Gotta read the book, right? Um, do we have any more things to sell here? Two scrolls of Ko Snick. Hmm. He'll buy those. He seems to offer less, I think, for this. Let's say 25. 23, 20, 19, 18, and 16, Scroll of Light. 
Uh, a light scroll is um, what you can cast in a dark room. Uh, it uh, turns on the lights and then leaves them on permanently. I don't know what those lights are in actuality, if they're magical lights or what, but they stay on. Only five minutes left. Uh, let's see. See what he'll give us for this. They're not worth very much, these scrolls of light. Okay, we have 429 gold pieces. Um, let's go over, let's eat. We haven't eaten in a while. And we'll eat till we're full. And we'll look at our equipment, E. And we'll look at our brass lantern. I think it's about half full. Uh, I think half full is seven. 7,500, so we're going to fill it up with some oil. Look at it again. And we're nearly full. That's good. Very good. So let's go see if we can get a shovel from the general store. Carefully looking out for bad guys as we go. Shovel. We got a shovel. All right. I'll pay a lot of money for a shovel. A pick would be even better. But a shovel will have to do... Oh, thank goodness. 17 gold pieces. It's a money maker. It's a real money maker. Uh, let's look at our inventory. A flask of oil. Might as well get a couple more of those. And rations of food while we're here. Why not? Okay. Um, there is a command called X exchange. Uh, it is a lowercase x on the left side at the bottom, and that changes our primary and secondary weapon. So we hit x, and our dagger just went onto our back. So like there's a strap or something there for it. And now we wield, w star, um, a shovel. Now we have a shovel in our hands right now. We are wielding a shovel, one die two. We can hit things with a shovel. It doesn't do us very good, but it still works as a weapon, which is kind of funny. You can take a shovel to somebody, shovel to a worm or something, how about that? Um, so there we go, and now we want to swap it back, so we hit X. And now the shovel is our spare weapon on our back, and a dagger is in our hands. Very nice. Next place we want to go is to the weapon store. Uh-oh. Singing Happy Drunk is no cause for concern. Uh, we want to go to the weapon store to see if they have any cool stuff, which they don't. And to sell the one dagger we picked up. One die four. Uh, the bodkin thing is just... Uh, uh, there are many different kinds of daggers. Uh, and it doesn't mean anything special to the dagger at all. It's just to make it a little more interesting to read. Rather than finding all these these daggers that are the same, there are different daggers. Let's sell this. You'll only buy it for one gold piece, and it wasn't a special one. So that's fine. And he's selling it for 24 gold pieces. What a markup. Okay, so let's just sneak over to the armory. See if they have anything cool. Um, we have a lot of money. Some money anyway. Uh, nothing special there. Let's just leave that for now, and we'll go over to the magic store. Try to buy the next magic book. Pitiful looking beggar up front. Get rid of him. So the next magic book is Magic 2. Magic II, and it isn't there. Which is unfortunate. Um, yeah. We can afford some other stuff, but we really should save up for the... Uh, for the actual magic books. Yeah. What else? Should we get another phase door scroll? Why not? PG. PG 13. All right. Hmm, interesting. Lots of stuff there. Later on, uh, we'll have other monsters that 
sap our charisma. Actually, none of them do that. But sap our dexterity or strength, and we need those potions sold at this store to restore them. By Gannat Degree. Thanks. So that sound means we've been at it for 30 minutes, and uh, it's time to quit. Uh, we'll go over to the stairs here, ready for our next delving. Uh, we need uh, about 30 more points to get to the next level. And uh, yeah, this next time for sure, we got to go past the 50-foot mark. We're going to go down to 100 feet for sure and have a look and see what's down there. Thanks a lot. Uh, the, ba the Balrog is shaking in his boots. Uh, we're on our way to get him. Thanks. Bye.